Hello students, in today's lecture we will be studying about the python shell and the two different execution modes of the python shell which are the interactive mode and the script mode. So this is class 11 computer science and I am teaching from the NCRT book and this is chapter 5 getting started with python. Alright, so in this video we will be studying about the python shell or the python interpreter. We discussed why python is known as an interpreted language in the previous video. So if you need to write python programs and you need to run them or execute them you will have to have a python interpreter with you and the python interpreter is also known as a python shell and why do you need an interpreter because it will convert your python commands into a form that can be executed by the computer and the computer can perform the task that you have given in that instructions or the uh, command that you have given okay so, to write Python programs and to have a Python interpreter, you have two major options. Firstly, either you install the uh, Python interpreter in an offline mode, that is you install it in your computer or you write and run your programs in an online mode. Okay. So, uh, when you write your programs in an online mode, it provides you with a, an environment where you can write the commands, you can execute them and you can change them and rerun them. Okay. Now, when you install the Python uh, programming language or the Python software on your computer, generally a default development environment that comes pre that gets installed on your system uh, is known as IDLE okay so this is a python interpreter as well as a development environment in which you can write your code you can execute your program code and this is the python shell that we will be talking about today okay so uh, whenever you uh, install the python programming language on the python software on your computer if you go to your start menu and you uh, type this word IDLE, you will see that such a window would appear on your screen. So, this is a typical Python shell that has been shown on the screen or the Python interpreter. Okay. Now, as you can see, this window contains a triple arrow sign. This triple arrow sign is known as the prompt. Okay. So, prompt means to ask someone or to uh, show someone uh, that uh, the particular thing is ready to listen or to ready to accept or ready to be heard okay so in general language also when we say we prompt someone we want we uh, want to ask something from them okay so uh, what do we mean by prompt here in this case this particular symbol indicates that the python shell is ready to take commands from you and the cursor in front of it shows that you can type in your commands here. So, when you open this python shell, you see this prompt and you can start typing in your commands here. Now, there are two different modes in which the python shell can be used, which is the interactive mode and the script mode. So, uh, what are the main differences between the two modes of execution? In the interactive mode, you type one statement at a time and it will only allow you, this mode will only allow you to type in one sentence, press enter and get the result of that sentence. Then you type in another sentence or a code or an instruction of Python language, then you press enter and you will get the desired result. So as you have, as you can see in this image that here is the prompt that I was talking about. Here you have typed in some instruction 1 plus 2 and when you press enter you get the result which is 1 plus 2 the result is 3 immediately in the next line at the python shell. Now again uh, in the in front of the next prompt you, you can type in the next instruction you get the next result and so on. So what is the advantage of this kind of mode? It is used for quick uh, testing of your code you know suppose you are uh, writing a particular command and you're not sure what is the syntax whether it will be correct or what will be the output so what you can do you can write your command in front of the prompt uh, and then press enter and see what is the result but the disadvantage of this approach is that it will not let you save 
these commands these python instructions for future so if you have to uh, if you want to see the result of the previously executed command you will have to retype it again so you cannot save your code in this mode it is used for quick testing okay now the second mode is the script mode script means writing a program writing a script writing a python program as we are talking right now so script mode allows you to write multiple lines of code and save it save the entire python code as a file now when i say file it will be a python file that will have the extension .py okay so if your file is say abc the file name the file python file will automatically will be saved as abc which is the file name .py that means it indicates that it is a python file so script mode in the script mode you can write more than one python command python instruction or you can prepare a complete code then you can save this code and you can rerun this code whenever you want you can execute it later okay and by default uh, whenever you create a file in the script mode it is stored in the python installation folder that means wherever you have installed python there that uh, particular file that you have created in the script mode would be saved okay so now what do you have to do in the script mode to execute uh, or to run the commands so first the script mode does not provide you with any prompt as you can see in this video in this image sorry uh, there is no prompt symbol here okay so what you have to do you have to create a new file write all the instructions then save that file with a particular file name now what you do after that once you have saved the file you go to the run command here on the top menu you will see a run command and then you either press f5 or you just click on run module that means that you want to execute the current file so you write a file you save it and you click on run run module okay now what will happen in the python shell the python uh, in, uh, interpreter you will see the output of the of the execution that has just happened okay so you when you write a file you will not see any prompt here but when you see the output you will see it in the python shell and after the output you will see the next prompt uh, symbol okay so that was all for python shell and python in interpreter two modes of execution stay tuned in this lecture series so that we can continue with this uh, chapter and study about the fundamentals of python in the upcoming videos if you like the video please press the like button share it with your friends subscribe to the channel to get the notifications of the new videos and till then we meet in the next video mind your exam see you soon